Welcome to the MPC Lounge. Within this workflow tutorial, we'll be looking at the brand new virtual analog plugin instrument, the Air Tube Synth. This gives MPC Live NX in standalone mode its own internal synth engine, which is also available inside MPC desktop software. Now to instantiate Tube Synth onto a track, we simply navigate to our new plugin icon, which once pressed will load Tube Synth onto your selected track. To access the factory library, double tap the preset field and then a browser will appear listing all the instrument types, such as lead, bass, pluck, pads, so you can find the sound that you like. Now to access TubeSynth's UI screen, let's use our new pad shortcut by hitting menu, pad 14, and now we can see the UI screen with all parameters available. You will also see on our Q-Link control that our OLED displays are automatically mapped to all the parameters available in TubeSynth. So as we move through our different pages, our Q-Link OLEDs will auto update, giving you real-time control of all your parameters, such as low pass filter cutoff, resonance, and saturation. We can also look at our envelopes, LFOs, our setup, which includes glide time and polyphony. Now to access the effects page, simply press our right hand tab and now you will see all the UIs. We have five effects to choose from created by Air Music Technology. And these consist of delays, which again are fully mapped to our controls, chorus, reverb, compression, and high and low saturation. So now let's have a listen to some of the sounds inside TubeSynth by navigating back to our homepage and using our demo project. <laughs> 